really exciting thing that's happened just recently is that we finally bought land. So Kelly and I um, sold our bear block in Northland, we had 30 acres up there in 2020, at the beginning of 2020. And I would actually wanted to move for four or five years. I had been begging my sister to move and she was adamant she wanted to stay in Northland and I couldn't financially afford to move on my own. And so finally I coerced her into coming to Taupo, well we were looking between Taupo and Hastings. Um, and I wanted to move because I wanted to be more central, I wanted to have my own land and start to build my own facilities etc. And so when we finally sold the property we had a bit of an interim where we had nowhere to stay for a few months and so I went and stayed with friends at a show jumping stable and Kelly stayed with friends up in Northland. And we were looking at heaps of land between Taupo and Hastings. We found a couple of properties we liked, but they didn't have enough land or there was something not quite right about them. But we got so desperate that we started off putting offers on 30 acre properties because we just couldn't find anything. And at the time we were looking for 50 to 70 acres. That would have been ideal, um, but there was just nothing available. And in hindsight, 30 acres would never have been enough um, for how many horses we have. And so luckily we missed out on those properties. Um, but in January, we came and looked at this property where we are right now. And it, it had initially been uh, two titles, a house and 150 acres attached. And they separated the titles off. And we decided we absolutely wanted the 150 acres. We are totally in love. It was much more land than we were looking for, but we managed to pull it all together. And we were so fortunate that we were able to purchase it. and. It is absolute dream come true, finally getting to have all our horses on one property and just the terrain and everything is just stunning. We're so close to town, there's no mud. Yeah, we're just, yeah, we're so, so fortunate. So I'm very excited uh, that we are now in our new base in Taupo. It's been a massive journey uh, searching for the right place. Uh, obviously, Amanda and I had 30 acres up north and Vicky had a property next door and mum and dad were up there as well. So to be able to be a little bit more central is pretty phenomenal. We um, spent a long time looking in Hastings, Taupo region, and stumbled across the most stunning 150 acre farm, which we're absolutely in love with. So the 150 acres we found is absolutely stunning, beautiful rolling terrain. It's got some really just phenomenal native bush out the back and I absolutely love walking out the door, hopping on a horse, going for a farm ride and seeing all of my favourite horses in one place. So I've got uh, Shyla, my Brumby here at the moment, and Alda, the Kaimanawa Stallion I tamed in 2014, Dancer, my show jumper, Lion, the orphan foal I rescued and uh, just magical being able to be in a place that is not only the right size and everything we need to do on one property is going to be possible here but over the next few years developing exactly how we want. So currently it's bare land and the only thing on it are the stockyards which uh, we managed to set up in time for 18 wild horses to arrive uh, but ultimately setting up a massive equestrian park with arenas, obstacle courses, cross country, the property is already sparred which is cool we can jump over the fences and uh, in the coming years it's my ultimate idea to develop a wild horse training centre where my workshops which I host can continue to be run here uh, on a bigger scale and to be able to save more horses and really develop the work I'm doing with my Liberty horses, my show jumpers and of course the wild horses. So me and Kelly will set up separate places. Kelly's um, focus will very much be on the wild horses, so setting up facilities to bring in herds from out of the muster and integrate them slowly from paddocks into training etc and my focus is on the show jumpers so breeding a couple each year and, and training and coaching etc and we um, at this stage we've called it Blackstone Ranch or Blackstone Farm we're still debating about that I don't care which one it is but it's called Blackstone because um, of all the black obsidian rock that's covered the property from um, volcanic eruptions several many many years ago but yeah we've got lots of plans it's su super exciting I, I can't even begin to express how lucky we are and how fortunate we are that we um, got to buy this property